Right, welcome back everybody. This is Eric and Barry from Moss Pawn and Gun. And today we have a pretty interesting little gun gripe uh, subject for you today. Today's video, we're going to talk about what is a sniper rifle. That term gets thrown around all the time. And I tell you what, gun people, it really bugs their nerves when people just say the word sniper rifle about every single damn rifle they see with a scope on it. Uh -huh. uh, Barry, why does that irk people so much? Well, because uh, most rifles with scopes are not designed to snipe at people. They're designed to hunt with. Long range precision rifles, a gun like this, this is a Savage with a Nikon scope. This is a wonderful long range rifle. Uh, it is in caliber 308. This will make a great antelope rifle, a long range hunting rifle. A lot of people just want to shoot a rifle at long range. That's why they have a 50 caliber uh, association that shoots 50 BMG. It's recreation. There's nothing like ringing a target at a thousand yards. That's most certainly. I mean, the case. That, that is that's that's the thrill right there. Uh, ask any rifleman that's ever done it. But the point is, back during the Clinton era, the Bradys and the Clintons tried to they tried to tack sniper rifle on every gun that had a scope. Now, I'm going to put together a video of gun facts be up, coming up in a couple of weeks. It's going to be called Assassin Choice, and I'm going to go through history. And I'm going to show you the rifles they use. Most most snipers up until, uh, or assassins up until the the 80s and 90s, they use hunting rifles. That's right. The uh, uh, Charles Whitman uh, in uh, at, in Texas, he used a six millimeter bolt action rifle with a with a four power Leopold scope. But they adapted what they had. Look at what look at what Lee Harvey Oswald used. A gun that was considered obsolete at the time he bought it. And probably one of the most inaccurate service rifles ever made. Right. The Carcona. A sniper is somebody who shoots at another human being from concealment. That is a, a Webster's Dictionary definition of what a sniper is. The first definition, though, is a highly trained military marksman who is detailed to take out enemy soldiers or personnel, or maybe even a lot of them go after a, a certain target. They're not just targets of opportunity, but that's what a sniper is, someone who fired for concealment. A sniper is also an individual on the battlefield whose main job, or a lot of their job, involves collecting reconnaissance mm -hmm. and data. Their observation, remaining undetected, mm -hmm. observing, collecting data, reporting everything in, and then in some cases, yes, they're going to eliminate key personnel. Uh, modern snipers' uh, goal also is to disrupt supply lines, to damage convoys, to disrupt convoys. Um, you know, a sniper can be on a hill somewhere or from a covered position mm -hmm. and shooting with a very heavy anti-material rifle, put a hole in the engine mm -hmm. block and shoot and scoop, and he stopped that convoy or stopped that supply chain, mm -hmm. and he can run away to fight another day. Right. Modern snipers on today's battlefield also are heavily trained to operate in urban environments. More and more altercations are involving urban environments. Shooting from inside of buildings, all of the stark 90 degree angles mm -hmm. that an urban environment uh, gives you as a challenge. I mean, you turn a corner, pow, there's a person. So that's why like semi-automatic DMRs are in such heavy use now on today's mm -hmm. battlefield. Everybody, yeah, everybody thinks that a sniper rifle only uses bolt-action rifle, or a sniper only uses bolt-action, but that's not true. Today's sniper needs to have rapid follow-up shots. Mm -hmm. You might turn a corner, and there might be a dude standing five feet from you. The next shot from a rooftop might be 500 yards. Mm -hmm. You just don't know. That's but see, putting the term sniper on a rifle is the same thing as labeling something as an assault weapon. Assault weapon. You're right. already labeling the gun for a purpose before a person's ever even put their hands on it. And mm -hmm. that gripes me the most it out does. of everything. You know, just because I have this 270 uh, Thompson Center hunting rifle, does that make me a sniper? Just because it, it looks like something a sniper would use? Nope. That's completely absurd. Mm -hmm. Well, remember, the term assault rifle and sniper rifle are uh, terms coined by the media to demonize these, uh, all this is designed for, anti-gun anything is to demonize these guns. These guns are not evil. It's the man shooting it that's evil. Well, I or mean, it also comes down to training. Right. I mean, so, so my definition for sniper, to kind of back up, you know, what Barry's talking about, when I think sniper, I think someone that is using whatever tools are available to him to complete a specific task, and of course that person has a high level of training, patience, and up, utmost professionalism, okay? If I take this 
beautiful Tika T3. Yeah, come on. 308. Okay, detachable box magazine. Nice, uh, solid base on it. Send it. Yep, Ready. rated muzzle. This rifle right here would make an insanely awesome hunting rifle. Okay, but if I want to be a sniper and snipe someone, mm -hmm. can I use it as a sniper rifle? Of course I can, but at that point, I'm the person that made this a sniper rifle, right? Not the rifle, right? Okay, and that you, you can't have the word sniper rifle without a sniper behind it, right? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's kind of the gripe. That's mm -hmm. just the way it is. It is. But uh, like Eric was talking about nowadays, especially in the latter days of Vietnam, they were using uh, M14s mm -hmm. that were specially set up. That way, like Eric said, they have rapid fire at close range, and they had a long range gun too. It was and a they had that line. nice 308 punch to get through the jungle and everything. But, uh, these 50 calibers like the Barrett's and the uh, uh, AR-50 from Armor Light, these kind of guns are material rifles. They call them anti-material. Eric used that term a while ago. You're used to knock out radar dishes. You can cripple helicopters and aircraft on the ground. You can shoot through hides. You, right. If you know a sniper's hiding somewhere, you can right. shoot through it. So they're material rifles. They're really not designed to shoot at people. Yeah, John Browning did not uh, you know, invent the 50 BMG for sniper use. That was never his intention. I mean, 50 BMG literally means Browning machine gun. It is a machine gun cartridge. Of course, it's been adapted for sniping and you know tactical use. I mean, really, that, that whole you know standpoint, it all comes together. It's a tactical use. I mean, a sniper is someone that takes everyday objects that might be practical, like a good, solid, accurate rifle, and he turns it into a tool that he can use to complete his job. So, you know, here's another nice example. This is an FN uh, special rifle. purpose police rifle. Oh, yeah. And uh, now this is an awesome setup. Okay, now is this a rifle that you're going to... Uh, be carrying out in the woods to go hunt Bambi with? Probably not. Now, is it a heavy uh, rifle that you can lay comfortably in the prone and observe one area for hours at a time? Probably. Mm -hmm. Now, but see, that comes down to what you do behind this rifle is what makes it what it is. Yep. Period. That's it. I mean, this is an amazing rifle. It really is. And then we got the little, uh, what's that, Model 11? This is a Savage Model uh, 10, 10 in 308. Yep. This is your basic gun. You got a you got a bipod. You got a nice scope. You got a tactical bolt handle. Yep. Uh, Accu trigger. Uh, this is this is your basic setup. This is a rig right here that you can use for just about anything. I mean, whether it be hunting or target shooting, or if you really want to be fancy and coin the word sniper rifle, more power to you. Just depends on, I guess, what you use it for. Right. I, I can't get off of that subject. It's like <laughs> you can't call something a sniper rifle if you're not using it for sniping. Just like, okay, if something's deemed an assault rifle, th the old argument just keeps coming back. I mean, it's not an assault rifle if you're not assaulting someone with it. Mm -hmm. it it's like calling a, a fork a fat fork. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fork doesn't make you fat. You have to pick the food up and eat and get, make yourself fat. Right. It, it's just so, ah, it's mind-boggling. It's like calling a Ferrari a break-the-law car because you go on 200 miles an hour. Right. You're not a speeder unless you speed. Right. Oh, I mean, you know. Exactly. Yeah. You know. So anyway, it's up to the individual. <laughs> it but is. anyway, uh, we're going to wrap this one up. And like I said, we're going to have a video coming up uh, pretty soon called Assassin's Choice. And we're going to go through history and see what they, what they use. And you'd be surprised. Most of it is very archaic type uh, guns. Mm -hmm. Some of them are antiques, obsolete. Honey, uh, guns that are traditionally hunting weapons. Yep. Yeah. So it just goes to show you, it's it's what you use it for, not what it's intended for. Right. But we so, appreciate you guys watching today, and I, I hope this video might have uh, invoked some thought. Uh, leave your comments below, suggestions. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have uh, any kind of commentary that might be related to this video, or what you think a sniper rifle is, what would you define as a sniper rifle? Let us know, and we might make a follow-up to this video. We can do that. All right. Y'all have a good one. Have a good evening.